Johnson, a marginal favourite, it's 11 to 8 on. O'Donnell, they're quoting it, even money. And Watson has started fast, straight away, showing atta in attacking intent. And you can see O'Donnell's manager and promoter, Mick Hennessy, on his feet from the outset, telling his man not to get in close and not to mix it up with a man who just loves to trade on big hooks like this. But Watson, the noted puncher, wants to take O'Donnell straight out of his stride. I think we're in for something special tonight, John. These two going straight at it. No scouting mission, just teeing off. Watson has made a really fast start. Comes into this on the back of a very impressive win against Matthew Hatton. He did that at the City of Manchester Stadium. Beat the house fighter, if you like, there. The man who was the favourite to win it and showed that he is a real puncher and O'Donnell is not establishing his jab at the moment. Now O'Donnell being, being drawn in and Watson getting off with two good body punches, one to the body, one to the head. It was good stuff. O'Donnell says that his hand speed will be the key, that he'll be the faster man. Watson at the moment, he wants to have the fight in a telephone kiosk, doesn't he? Oh, nice right uppercut there from Watson. Drawing O'Donnell in close. Well, fast start from Watson. Now, can O'Donnell make some sort of a reply? Tried to land that fast right hook, but he missed by some distance. His last four wins have all come by stoppage, O'Donnell. But he did have that one damaging defeat against Christian Solano back in 2007, lost in a couple of rounds in Las Vegas against the Mexican. He's had to rebuild from that. That's another good hook from Watson. These are cracking shots by both boxers. What a good round already. I think Watson, for me, is just slightly in better control. He's just slightly in better control. He made the better start and teeing off. Right hand, though, from O'Donnell. Made Watson give it a little bit of ground. Everybody speaks from that gym so much about the boxing ability of O'Donnell. Watson says, yes, he's got a boxing ability, but he hasn't got power. He can't break eggs, and I can get in there and walk through him. Well, I don't know why O'Donnell is standing to trade. You don't trade with a puncher, certainly not early on, and that's the reason why. The uppercut, the right hand over the top, hurt McDonald. They're getting through too cleanly for me. He's really good opening round from Craig Watson. O'Donnell's getting involved far too early, and there's no need. He will get the riot act in his corner, I'm sure, from Robert McCracken. Big round for Watson. Unquestionably, he's taking this through. They want to see O'Donnell take this one more at range. Watson's corner saying, let's see you roll out of the shots, keep out of range and throw those hooks. More or less continue what you've been doing so effectively so far. Good start from the champion. Here he comes again. It's an excellent start by, by Watson. O'Donnell can really not, he can ill afford to drop his right hand the way that he does. He fiddles with it, he flips with it, he messes around with it, uses it predominantly as a range finder, but you should use it as a ramrod jab to keep the shorter opponent off. Oh, good uppercut from Watson inside. Showing good strength, isn't he? He's, uh, he's a builder by trade, he's a strong man. Sponsored by his uh, work, uh, his uh, employers, and he says that that's made a big difference to him. And he's construction, the people he works for, and they put money behind him. And he's come into this, he says, fitter than any fight he's had so far. And he says, when he's really up for it, he is the man. But what Watson does once he gets in close, his shoulders, he uses his shoulders to push uh, O'Donnell's chin up in the air. Then he kind of switches up on hits with a left to the body and then a left to the head. And he's catching him pretty much every time. That's better from O'Donnell. And a little bit of a buzz around ringside as he lands with his first snapping little combination. And look at this, more from O'Donnell. He shows that it is not going to be one-way traffic. Good hand speed. A lot of talent in this division. We talked about the light welters in welters as well. There's Michael Jennings, top there in the British pile. There's Cal Brook, the British champion. And there's these two guys. Really good fighters, all of them. Well, 
Normally Southpaw styles normally make for a clash of styles, but not this time. These two are blending beautifully. This is better though from O'Donnell. He's settled into a rhythm far better after the opening onslaught from Watson. Committed partisan support. Both boxers now have just been a little bit more tentative. Not rushing in now, they're looking for their openings. I think that probably suits O'Donnell more. Donald Watson really gambling, isn't he, with that big left hook? Well, when we spoke to his trainer today, John, that's what they said. They've gambled on the knockout. They know they can't outbox this man. They've got to take it to him and look for the knockout. Much, much better round this, though, from John O'Donnell. Much better. You have got to win every round now. You've got to keep your concentration. He was saying you've done well in the second, but you can't take your foot off. You've got to concentrate on your boxing skills and keep on picking up the rounds. Good right hand from Watson. Well, on, on paper, O'Donnell is the bigger puncher, uh, the better boxer. Watson, the bigger puncher. And Watson will gamble with punches. O'Donnell knows that criticism, though, and he's been working on it in the gym, sparring, among others, Carl Froch. He says he's learned, learned a lot there, training alongside the super middleweight champion who's going to be defending his title in a couple of weeks. O'Donnell grind with confidence by the second. Looking a lot more loose now, O'Donnell. Watson keeps teeing off with that left hand. Oh, cracking straight left by, by O'Donnell. Just pulled him up, just stopped him right in his tracks. The Watson. He sort of smiled to me yesterday when I said Watson said that he couldn't break eggs. As much as to say, well, we'll see. Talk's cheap. Let's see what happens when the bell goes. Let me know O'Donnell has a lovely arsenal of punches. We know he's got every, every punch in the book and will need every move he's got in the book to beat Watson. I shouldn't be standing in front of him, should be giving him plenty of angles. Keep pumping in a jab, nice hook there by Watson. Watson has gone the 12 round distance in the past, he's trained for it on three occasions, that 12 rounder in the bag when he beat Matthew Hatton. Won this Commonwealth title, beating the very good Ali Nuamembe, the Namibian. Cracking left hook there, landed by O'Donnell. That again stopped Watson right in his tracks in that last exchange. Watson so heavy-handed with the backhand. His left hand is really where the power lies. You often see two southpaws together and you see messy fights because I guess they're not used to facing southpaws too often but this one's working good to watch so far but the atmosphere is electric I know I've said it before but if you've never been down to your call you really are missing out on something it's a very special place to come and watch boxing and this is turning out to be another good one. We've already seen one excellent fight tonight, and this...